Hello guys, welcome back to Gemini Gamers. This is week number four of our weekly KSP news show. Uh, I'm a little sick this episode, so I apologize. Uh, if my voice is a little weirder, weirder than normal, because it's you know not very weird usually, but today it's going to be weirder because of a very bad flu. But I'm committed to releasing these episodes every Wednesday. I could have delayed it a little bit, waited till I was better, but I'm committed to releasing these every Wednesday. It's the only part of my schedule that actually matches this actually scheduled you know it's the only thing that we actually schedule in this channel for now hopefully we change that a little bit later but for now this is the only thing we schedule and it would be kind of weird if we didn't release this on a wednesday so we're gonna go ahead and do this and get on with the news all right so so the the blog started off with you know their normal historical thing something about the soyuz space capsule docking with the space station the, the anniversary and San sunday i think so there you go, the ISS, you know, International Space Station, if you don't know what that is, I don't know why you're playing this game, but if you do know what it is, you know, basically just an, an anniversary of that, very cool stuff, you can go read it if you want, but let's get into the good stuff, since we want to get uh, these episodes a little bit shorter, so you guys can get uh, the stuff a lot quicker, and not uh, wait on me, and my slow way of getting information across, so anyway, let's go ahead and get to the development news, so... The first thing that they talked about is that the release dates for both the Making History expansion and the console updates are coming up. There's no exact date for them, but you know we know they're coming up soon, so we're gonna be we're gonna know exactly when that uh, that they're gonna be released soon. Uh, the updated console version for KSP will be available at the end of January next year, so that, that's an estimation, I guess. You know. Uh, you know, especially when development, you never know something something may come up, come up later on, and and things may change and may delays, or maybe something works out very well and they can go a little bit faster. So around there, end of January, and the Making History expansion will be released early next year. Exact date still not given; they'll be given later. So two things to 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 you know see the, about this. Um. So sadly, we're not gonna get anything before the end of the year, which sucks. But, you know what, it's understandable, I mean, the console version I get, the making history, I'm a little, a little salty about that one, I'll be honest, since it is just textures and stuff like that, and the mission thing, shouldn't be take that long to actually create, but I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not an actual developer, so I don't know, that's just me talking on my butt, so, yeah, I, I don't know, I, it, hopefully we can get them then, and, uh, hopefully we get an exact release date soon, and we can get these things taken care of so we can have some more fun in this game. Hopefully. You know what I mean? An update that... If you don't know what the Mexican Making History expansion is, just basically a part update along with a mission maker update so you can make missions for everyone else. So anyway, the other part of the development uh, went into the KSP update 1.4. Most of the efforts are going into upgrading to Unity 2017.1, which is a new Unity update. And if you don't know what Unity is, it's basically the engine that the game runs in. So very cool. Uh, it's a very complicated process because, you know, the data has to be transferred and converted and stuff. And, you know, sometimes when you convert data, it doesn't really work out for you at all. It doesn't work in the new engine. Even though it's the same engine, just an updated one, something usually doesn't go right. And that's just from experience, when you try, especially trying to convert a whole game. So that's why this update is going to take a while to understand this one. This one I get... Um, and you know that means that when they do the conversion all issues have to be identified and fixed which takes a lot more coding and a lot of time for people testing the game and stuff like that is why it will take a long time for them to actually get this done and other stuff will be included too so no confirmations on anything but that could mean from new parts new planets maybe graphical mods or graphical improvements like clouds here and shaders that give us the view that we get here and stuff like that but hopefully new planets maybe I will assume either new parts or new planets one of those two things new parts and new planets is my opinion or what I would want and I guess clouds too but I mean we don't really don't need that since we do have very good mods that upgrade that so yeah new planets and new parts basically probably you know that's they just they didn't confirm anything all they said is other stuff is planned but we're not going to get anything out of that anytime soon because, you know, the game is still not even... They barely started doing this uh, update. 
Uh, and we're probably gonna get the Making History expansion before we get any of that other stuff, so... We'll wait for that. And, uh, so let's go into Develop Menus for the Making History expansion. So, an early version of a new soundtrack similar to the VAB music, but different, uh, will be included in the, in the expansion, which is good, so we're getting new music for once, you know. We got new music, music last time when we went into the, uh, when we got the contracts, the career mode, the career, uh, and the science thing, we also got new music from that. But, you know, we only hear them then. I guess this is gonna be played during the rest of the game, which is cool. I like it. I appreciate that. We needed a couple of new things and music might help out. Uh, it's only one song though, so which, you know, doesn't really make much of a difference, but it's one song. Hopefully it's a good song and doesn't cause too many differences in the long run. So, alright. So, and the next thing on that, uh, graphical banners are implemented into the mission dialogue. So, you know, when you complete a mission, you know, some games like like spin tires, if you don't know, I'm making a series on that. When you complete an achievement, like music plays and a big flame banner and the screen comes pops up, you're like, you accomplished the blah blah blah. You you managed to get the achievement and boom. So yeah, you get achievements and you can make banners. So for example, hero images, success and failure images, and they will be fully customizable. So you can if you make your own mission, you can put your own image there. You know, like you lose, you suck or whatever. It's up to you. You can put whatever you want. Uh, so very cool, very cool for mission thing. I don't know how fun this part of the updates can be, but it looks interesting. I will try it out. Um, and new warnings when vessel exceeds construction limits. You know when you're building stuff on the VAB, and uh, and you never know when you. you sometimes you, you, especially in career. Oh, actually, only in career, you build something that has too many parts, or it's too heavy. You never know that you did that until you basically launched the vessel. By then, you already added so much stuff. That is complicated to like go back and reduce the weight or reduce the amount of parts by removing a whole piece of you know it's just a pain. But now when you go over, apparently you're gonna get a warning, maybe a noise or a message that pops up when you go over, which is cool. And that will probably save a lot of time and energy, which is good. Overall, uh, new tutorials will also be included to teach players uh, how to make missions, which is very cool. Um, you know, it's a new thing coming into the game, so it's expected for us not to know how or, or what we can do to make these missions entertaining or just make them in general so hopefully those tutorials are good and we can learn how to actually um, get the missions to be entertaining and you know actually make them good so the last thing that they did talked about which is the more interesting part you know because it's relating to actual progress made in the making history expansion so New textures, right? So they, they mentioned a couple things. So, um, so more, more work has been done on the J2 engine, but we sadly don't get a picture of that, which sucks. But I'm gonna post a picture of that right now on the screen, so you can see what the J2 engine. Basically, it's a it's the engine used on the second stage of the Saturn V. You know, the moon rocket, those five little engines. Uh, well, not a little, but you know what I mean. Uh, compared to the F1s, they're pretty small. So the, those are the J2 engines, and that'll be on the screen right now, probably going away now. And the next thing uh, that they did talk about, and they actually included, um, they included textures, pictures of these. So basically, new 1.875 meter Soviet tanks, or Soyuz rocket tanks, I think it's the R7 rocket tank, so we're getting tanks for that. Um, and one of the things that I'm not too sure about, but it's, it could be a thing. They said that they included other textures that would be that you know they look stop more stock alike instead of instead uh, instead of actually instead of actually looking more like the R7. Uh, and I think that's the name of the rocket, but the Soyuz rocket parts, you know, they're green. You know, I'll show them on the screen so you can see them. And they say they also include normal stock alike parts, which means that either they included a new part. Or they're putting in a feature in that lets you change your texture of the part that you're doing. You know, like texture, you know, like one of the, the little mods. Uh, I think it's either Interstellar Fuel Switch or Fire Spitter. Fire Spitter lets you change between variants of parts. And like, if like, let's say for this, for example, this part right here, the nose cone, you you want a one that looks like this, and there's another texture where it. Um, it's all black or something like that or whatever color you can change the variant and you can change the texture as you as will and I think that's what they mean so maybe Stock texture switching confirmed maybe I don't know you won't need mods anymore to change textures 
So very cool. They included three pictures of the Soviet tanks. So I'll post those to the screen as we go here. And uh, yeah, so that means that we're probably getting. So I, I assume this already. We're getting a. We're getting both. I think we're getting a, a Soviet capsule, and we're also getting the Gemini capsule. As far as I, as far as I've been looking over this, so we're getting two things: Soviet capsules and Gemini capsule, which is good. Uh, I think the Soviet capsules are two. Uh, if they go historically, it started out with two people in it, and then was upgraded later on to carry three people. And the Gemini will always just carry two people. Either way, those are two crude capsules we, which we're missing from the game. The only one that we actually that can actually carry two Kerbals in the game right now is the uh, large lander can, lander car, landing can. I think that's what it's called. Landing can Mark II is a little round one. It's an ugly, it's an ugly, it's an ugly part, but um, you can, you know, you you probably used it before. Um, and yeah, that's probably something cool. More parts, better, better entertainment, better stuff. Uh, good, 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 good things coming up here. Uh, and I think that's pretty much it for today. Uh, you know, not not much, not much news, but relatively interesting news that we can make it be a good uh, weekly news show. I think uh, very interesting, very very deep in depth. I think this time. Uh, a couple things are still need to be clarified soon, hopefully, like the dates and stuff like that. But hopefully that is done in a couple weeks now, and I'll, you know, whenever it happens, I'll make sure you guys know. I'll make another video, and I'm gonna keep doing. I do these every week, in case you didn't realize this by now. So every week I do these. Um, right now they're scheduled every Wednesday around, you know, spec them around from one to three around there. Uh, if you, you know if you want to schedule so yeah, there you go I have college and sometimes you know how college goes it's a little longer and shorter stuff like that but yeah subscribe so you can get that on your notifications like your notifications like and comment any suggestions you want me to do these differently uh, maybe you want me to like put more stuff on the screen I don't know so yeah uh, go for and do that like the video share it so other KSP players know about this so they can get informed on what's coming up and you know sometimes uh, things happen, and uh, it's very important that the gaming community gets informed of what what are the things going on. Like uh, sometimes developers are like behind the scenes, changing something, and you don't like it. You know, like maybe you don't like 1.875 parts, and you we should probably get informed and get your own opinion out there if you're not into that. But I don't know why you wouldn't be into that. Just that was just an example. So yeah. Anyway, go ahead and do all that. Subscribe so you can get you know so you can keep watching these videos, and I'll keep making them. Um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, wait, look around the channel. I have a Galileo series in case you didn't notice. This is a Galileo mod. That's why the planet looks a little different. In case you didn't notice it, we're actually flying over the ocean. And we, I don't know how much. Ah, we're fine. Anyway, so yeah. A little planet, different planet, different moons, different energy. So yeah, go check that out. It's a series. Uh, so yeah, very cool, very cool stuff there. And uh, yeah, spin tires, Minecraft, all that stuff on the channel. So yeah, subscribe so you can check all that out. Go watch our videos and all that stuff. And there's a G2A link down below if you buy games there. Go ahead and use it. Uh, we don't, we don't, you know, we, we, you know, it's a very controversial site, but whatever. Uh, so your choice to use it or not. So yeah, uh, we'll see you on the next video. Well, I'll see you on the next video. And uh, hopefully we get more uh, good news. You know, maybe an actual release date or something like that. So yeah, goodbye guys. Have a nice day. And, you know, play your KSP.